Hi there, this is Steve, and uh, I uh, did a three uh, videos on how I use Link for check in response to a request. And then it dawned on me that uh, very few people are studying uh, Czech, so I, I thought I might do it for French, and maybe I'll try it for Spanish and Japanese and other languages if people are interested. Um, the first video I did was where to get the content. Well, in French, if we begin uh, at, in our library, we can see that, say, at the intermediate level, there are a variety of, of content items available, some dealing with pronunci pronunciation, les villes françaises, allo Marianne, uh, Comte de Charles Perrault, uh, voilà, améliorer vos écrits en français, lots of different things. Um, if we prefer, uh, we can look at, uh, you know, advanced stuff, you know, if we're uh, more advanced. We still got some uh, pronunciation things there. Uh, La France, problème, les Celtes, les origines. So, uh, French Audio Gazette, there's a lot of different things. Now, I want to have a look. At, oh, and the other thing I should point out is that on this library page, in all the languages, we have this import bookmarklet. And what you do with that is you grab it and you drag it up to your to your uh, whatever it's called toolbar. I'm not going to do it because I've already done it. And then, uh, and I'll demonstrate it later, uh, if you want to read from Le Monde or uh, some other newspaper or anything you can find online, you just highlight it and it automatically comes in as a lesson to link. Uh, on our library page, you can also search, all right? So I'm not going to spend any more time on that. Uh, let us look at a lesson which I set aside, which I think is a very interesting lesson. Uh, because it's a conversation between one of our learners, Serge, who's in France, and another one of our learners, Marguerite, who is in Montreal. And they deliberately set this up because it's an opportunity to hear both a uh, French accent and a Québécois or Canadian accent. So we'll play a little bit of the sound here. Salut, Marguerite. Bonjour, Serge. Um, Est-ce que tu sais pourquoi je t'appelle Oui, je sais pourquoi tu m'appelles. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Donc, c'est pas une surprise. Okay, so it's a very casual, uh, pleasant discussion. Uh, quite a collection that they're putting together. Uh, and it's an example of the kind of content that we have at Link. And I'm going to go back into this text later on and, and uh, explain to you how I, would, how I would use this text, how I would study from it. Uh, but I did want to show you um, how the um, the uh, bookmarklet works. Now I happen to have uh, the bookmarklet, it's kind of off the screen here, already uh, on my uh, computer. So I'm going to go to uh, Le Monde, which I have in another uh, uh, tab here, and open up an article in Le Monde. And uh, here we go, and it's about uh, Muslims in France. And we grab however much of it we want and, uh, you know, highlight it. And then I just click on my bookmarklet. And uh, here we go. And it, it, sometimes because we had a problem that uh, the bookmarklet was recognizing other characters and putting it into English instead of French or Russian or whatever, you confirm that it in fact is French. You click import and this will now open up as a new lesson. Now, you can also import, here it is, we have the same article already in, ready to go. Now, the other way you can import is if you have a source of content where you have both audio and text, you can go to import, click on import, and in my case, I have imported a variety of items here, but you can choose to open a new collection. And th the advantage of this import feature is that you can use material that is under copyright because you're not going to share it. If you were creating your own or if you had uh, content that you had uh, obtained permission to use to share in our library, uh, then you would share it. But most of the time we're importing things for our own use, uh, in which case we go to the import collection, we press on collection because it's an advantage to have things in a collection. Uh, so that you can easily go from one to two to three. Now, I'm not going to continue here, but you would have to continue it. You want to confirm that's in French because you are in French. Uh, and then you would bring it in and you would uh, obviously copy and paste the text. 
and then uh, you would uh, copy the link to the audio file and you will see that when you import material you identify the audio file and all of a sudden you have a lesson ready to go. Uh, if, as I say, it's not under copyright, you can share it with other members. On the other hand, if it is copyrighted, then all you can do with it is, is study it yourself. So uh, I think that's enough um, insofar as, um, you know, uh, how to deal with content. And in the next session, uh, I will uh, uh, start a couple, studying a couple of these lessons and, and show you uh, how I would do that. So. Thank you for listening and uh, we're on to the next.